AI has taken over the world. And it won't be long before they're writing the books, the movies, and the songs that we consume daily. So why don't we just get the ball rolling? We're filmmakers and we're always writing new scripts. How much time do we spend writing Sometimes a script? Sometimes it takes us months to come up with a three minute short film. Literally months. This robot can write a script quicker than- Quicker than we can film an intro for a video. The AI has been writing a script this right whole now, time. Right yeah. now, And it's done. So in this video, we got a couple of our friends and we're literally gonna write three different scripts. We're not even gonna write them. Completely the AI, AI is gonna the write AI them. The AI is gonna write them. And after three chances, we'll know if the AI can write a better script than we can. And if it can, we vow to give up our lifelong dream of becoming screenwriters. What? So the first command we entered into ChatGPT was write a one-page thriller script with up to three characters about a man who wants a pet squirrel, but his wife is allergic to squirrels. And just like that, it got to writing. So now sit back, relax, and enjoy the first story, which is called The Squirrel, the squirrel dilemma. dilemma. Let's begin. The man John paced nervously around his living room, wringing his hands together. He had always wanted a pet squirrel, but there was one problem. His wife, Sarah, was allergic to squirrels. As he debated what to do, the door to the living room burst open Boom. and Sarah stood in the doorway, her eyes blazing with anger. John, what's this? She demanded, holding up a squirrel-shaped chew toy. John's heart sank. Sarah, I'm sorry. I know you're allergic to squirrels, but I just couldn't resist. I bought a real squirrel at the pet store today. You did what? Sarah's face turned red with fury. Just then, the squirrel who had been hiding under a cushion on the couch jumped out and ran across the room. Get rid of that squirrel right now, our marriage is over. John knew he had to make a decision. He could either give up his beloved pet and save his marriage or keep the squirrel and risk losing everything. The squirrel scampered up to the top of the bookshelf and looked down at the arguing couple with curiosity. John and Sarah locked eyes with each other. John made his decision. He would give up the squirrel and do whatever it took to make things right with Sarah. He scooped up the squirrel and carried it to the front door. He couldn't help but feel a twinge of sadness, but he knew that it was the right thing to do. Sarah was going to be okay, and that was all that mattered. Okay, this story had pretty good structure, not gonna lie. I do like how it built to a climax at the end. I like the squirrel-shaped chew toy. The fact that it dived into the marriage falling apart and like played on that moral dilemma of him choosing between his wife, and that was pretty good. The dialogue, though, was a bit on the nose. Cringe as. Uh, so overall, pretty decent story, but it could just be because we wrote a good command into the AI. After all, we were the ones who put in a pretty interesting character goal and an obstacle, which is very important for a story. So for the second story, we tried something a little more tricky. Write a one page script in the romance genre with up to three characters about a little boy who is a shrink, but is having a midlife crisis. All right, let's see if this second script's any better. Sit back and try your best to enjoy the tale of the burnt out shrink. As the sun sets on a warm summer evening, a 40 year old Dr. John sits at his desk. Once a successful child psychologist, John now finds himself in the midst of a midlife crisis. His internal struggle is interrupted by the sound of a knock on the door. Come in. In walks a 10 year old Timmy. Timmy hops up onto the couch, but as John listens, he can't help but feel a sense of disconnection. He used to love his work, but now it just feels like a tedious routine. As their session comes to an end, Timmy bounds off the couch and gives John a hug before skipping out the door. Feeling overwhelmed, John decides to take a break from work and go for a walk. As he strolls down the tree-lined street, he passes by a small park where he sees a familiar face. It's his wife, Sarah. <laughs> John hesitates for a moment, but then musters up the courage to join her. He opens up about his feelings of inadequacy. Sarah listens intently and offers a word of encouragement. She reminds him that he's not just a shrink, but a loving husband and father. She suggests that maybe it's time for him to try something new, to explore other avenues in his field, or even pursue a completely different career. John nods, feeling a glimmer of hope. As they walk hand in hand back to their home, he may not know what the future holds. At least he knows he's no longer standing still. This one was cringe. Cringe as... No dialogue dialogue at all, boring, predictable. They even reused the same character names from the last script. This one felt like it was written by a robot. Stale, it was inhumane. So one point to AI for the first one, but then one point to us for this one. So we gave it one last shot to redeem itself. Can it write a script that touches our emotions, that connects to us as humans? Write a one-page film script in the sci-fi genre about David Attenborough who wants to kill all the animals in the world, but Gordon Ramsay wants to stop him. We present to you Nature's Showdown. David Attenborough is seen frantically typing on his computer a wild look in his eyes. Yes, this is it. The answer to all humanity's problems. The solution to overpopulation and climate change. The door to the lab bursts open and in comes Gordon Ramsay. Attenborough, what the hell are you doing? Ramsay, you won't believe it. I figured out how to kill all the animals of the earth. Are you insane? 
Why would you do such a thing? Don't you see, Ramsey? The animals are taking over. This is the only way to save humanity. I won't let you do this. Attenborough, I stop you by any means necessary. You think you can stop me, Ramsey? I'm already one step ahead of you. He presses a button on his computer and a loud <laughs> hum fills the room. Mm. It's too late, Ramsey. The process has already begun. Not if I can stop it. He rushes, <laughs> he rushes towards Attenborough, but is stopped by a force field surrounding the computer. Damn it, Attenborough. You're not going to get away with this. Attenborough cackles maniacally as the hum grows louder and the force field around the computer glows brighter. Fade to black. Damn. Damn, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that one had some twists and turns. It was dramatic. Pretty impressive. It felt like it took all the data of the world of the best movies and screenwriters and it learnt how to write a film as we know it. But that's the exact problem with these AI scripts. Cliche as heck. We've seen this scene done multiple times in any movie that has a mad scientist in it. This is because AI can only write from what it's learnt from humans. We're gonna stick to writing our own films no matter how long that takes us. Yes we because are. Because I don't think a robot is ever gonna connect to humans as good as we can. Well, at least for now anyways.